Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. On the agenda tonight, we have a little bit of Ted Nugent and um, this is going to be from 1976, so uh, quite uh, an old performance, but uh, this is going to be a stranglehold, so let's get uh, Ted up on screen and see how he gets on. So there we have the intro and um, Ted's kind of one of those guys that is a showman as well as uh, being able to play the guitar. Um, I like the uh, ridiculous jump that he did at the beginning um, of the kind of intro part and it takes a brave man to jump from that high into darkness on stage because um, there could be anything down there. You never know what a guitar tech might leave in the way because um, they have, have a habit of doing that. But anyway, um, yeah, really cool um, intro and solid riff playing. And one of the things that um, is noticeable, I mean, especially around kind of the 70s um, and 60s and kind of going into that earlier era, is that guitars didn't have a whole lot of gain on them. Um, if you were going to play solos and you know, really kind of um, take the track on yourself. You really had nowhere to hide. Um, there wasn't a whole load of delay and gain like there is nowadays. So the players really had to um, be at the top of their game just to make it interesting and they had to be technically proficient as well. So that's one of the things that you always notice about the 70s um, and the 60s and going even earlier, it kind of gets cleaner the earlier you go. Um, so yeah, really cool riff um, from Stranglehold and um, really infectious kind of way of playing in terms of having that showmanship aspect as well. Um, now here, um, Ted kind of started with the vocals um, and now the vocals are going to be taken over uh, by Derek St. Holmes. Um, so he's going to be taking over that now and we'll see how they continue on with the song. <laughs> And, you know, Ted's one of those players that um, doesn't mind taking it right to the edge. And he's not, um, even though what he plays is obviously kind of technically good, he's not one of those players who is going to just stand there, look at their guitar and kind of try and do everything perfectly, technically right. He's much more into the feel and the vibe of whatever he's playing at the time, as well as putting on a show at the same time as well. So I really like the way that Ted plays because I think a lot of it is about entertainment as well. If you can kind of mix the two of being a great guitarist and entertaining as well, then that's kind of the holy grail. Um, not a lot of uh, players can do that. Some players are technically really gifted and just stay in the same spot all the time and can amaze people with their technical ability. Other players are just entertaining 
and the entertainment is uh, kind of impressive enough. And then you get those few players that can mix those two together and put on a show as well as, you know, play some really nice lead lines. So, yeah, really cool stuff here. And, um, you know, actually a really great um, uh, vocal from Derek as well, um, singing out front there. Derek also plays a guitar. In fact, later on in the video, there's um, a section where they're kind of uh, swapping guitar lines, which is cool. Um, but we'll just have a little listen for a little bit longer just to see where they go with the rest of the song. that just encapsulates his whole kind of playing style kind of being on that edge of playing with kind of emotion and, and feeling is a lot better for me personally than just kind of standing there and playing and getting everything really technically right sometimes it's good just to say to hell with it and just rock out and this is kind of classic uh, 1970s rock rock and roll um, and a really cool gig is the kind of gig that you'd like to just be there to watch just because of the whole vibe you know, that, that that's going on in the in, in the whole kind of performance. Um, another thing to note kind of guitar wise is I like the fact that Ted's got a totally different lead guitar tone um, to the rhythm because sometimes what happens is you'll go to see a band um, and especially on the audio that's from the video um, you'll hear the rhythm sound is exactly the same as the lead sound so when you want to hear what the lead guitarist is playing the sound doesn't cut through because it's the same tone as the rhythm that they've been playing and sometimes on the mixer if you're kind of mixed quite low to begin with in terms of rhythm then when you start playing lead it's never going to be um, clear and cut through so I like the fact that Ted's got that sorted out that as soon as he starts playing his lead he goes to that kind of more aggressive channel a little bit of an increasing gain um, and it really kind of cuts through so yeah really good a lot of players kind of never actually think about doing that but um, Hendrix kind of did that as well and Stevie Ray Vaughan as well kind of really subtle changes in your lead tone just making it a little bit more cutting and just a little bit of extra gain to put it above the rest of the mix um, but yeah it's kind of uh, a technical thing but one of those things that when you do play yourself you make sure that if you are going to play a lead solo that you're just above uh, the mix so that everyone can hear what you're playing so yeah this is a really cool performance I'm going to put the link in the description below if you want to watch the rest of this video but yeah thanks for this suggestion keep those coming in the comments below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you guys at the next one rock